Okay, sure, what, what am I gonna get? <laughs> oh, shit! What's going on, everybody? This is Master Gun, and welcome back to another episode of Blank Dreams. In the last episode, we had just found, um, Reishiro's and Yusu's mirrors. We found another mirror for, uh, Mishiro. And so, we're gonna be moving on here. Just keep walking, just keep walking. That's the wrong way. Wait a minute. There's no door! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What the hell? Where am I? I can't see. Oh, this way? Ah! I found this on accident! Okay. So, just in case something happens... Where the hell did I just come from? What is this monstrosity? The fuck did I just come from? <laughs> what the f- Where the freak did I just come from? Okay, so that just happened. We found another mirror? Can they truly be found so quickly? Alright then, let's go. Sorry to drop you, but leave me there. Alright, fine. Let's go. Uh... Just gotta try to find it again. <laughs> I do believe it's around here. Okay, move, 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 flowers, move. Here, down here, and there you go. The mirror shows Ryotaro's reflection. Now, now, what, now, now, what'll it be this time? Can't imagine what'll come up, even though it's about me. I wonder if the return of a new memory were to totally invert my present personality. That may well be the same as death. No jokes about how I'm already dead, please. You said it, not me, douche. One year ago, a company. Hmm? <coughs> oh? Should we get going, Sekoku? Mm, yep. Are you worn out, sir? Yeah. Trouble at home lately. At home? Ugh. Is this up to something again? She has seemed upset lately. No, not that. Well, it's the kind of thing... the kind of thing you tell people about, but you're not a stranger. See, my old man's inheritance has proven to be a kind of a mess. What? The inheritance of a famed artist, eh? I bet it's a lot. Huh? But didn't your father pass away last year? Why is it only a problem now? Actually, it's been trouble ever since then. I'm the eldest son, but the will says everything should go to someone else, except they're refusing it. That's it. They won't even give it to me, so it's up in the air. What was that old man thinking? That really does sound messy. With money, you should always follow the law. That's what I tend to do. Soon, I'll get a lawful in interpretation as, as a suitable place. With this taking up all my time, I didn't realize how I've hardly been talking to my daughter as of late, lately. This is a delicate time for her, too. This is no good. As her father, I should... C calm down, sir. A are you okay? Right. Sorry. I should at least do my job properly. I know, said Goku. I know. Say Goku, will you come over to our house later? Huh? To your house, sir? I'm sure it would take her mind off to talk to her brother. And if you could, talk to my doctor like a good uncle. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! This is around the time that um, Nishiro got into trouble at school. And her mother snapped. And, uh, and her grandfather died. Wow! It all ties together. Okay. Y your daughter, you say? There's been some trouble. She's been retreated to her shell lately. She doesn't have many friends at school. I feel like she needs some new relationships. Well, I, I wonder if a clumsy fellow like me could have a good talk with her. <laughs> it's fine. You're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you is just a guy to help my glum daughter. It's pathetic, can it's pathetic as can be that we're too busy with money to tend to her. But this is important. We can't ignore it. Alright then. If my brother-in-law insists, how can I refuse? Sorry. Hey, wait, have you seen her before? You're the cute young lady in your New Year's cards, right? Ah, right. I wouldn't mind taking some time to brag about her, but it's time. There's work to be done, yes. Okay, now let's go. The West Building, right? Yep. 
I knew it. I so knew it. There were signs. What's good, Uncle? <laughs> How's it going, fam? What you been up to? Why you ain't never seen me, man? I killed myself. <laughs> I jumped to the lake. <laughs> I think. I don't know how I killed myself, but I think I jumped to the lake. I, I don't know. Ah, I remember. I see, Mishiro. You're... <sighs> Shinji Yusui. No doubt. He was my boss and brother-in-law. Though at the moment, I can't recall if I ever did meet you in person while I was alive. They seemed like trivial memories, but... I feel they retaliated to my death and wish. Many holes remain, but I remember a fair bit. Couldn't have done it without your effort. I got something. Here. What the hell? Mishiro got a mystery key. What is that? A, what is that? An axe with a mixed with a cross? The frick is that? I picked it up on a rare walk around this world. No point in me having it. I'm sure you'll make better use. Now, no more to be done in this area place. Please let me know if you find another mirror. Well, that was completely by accident. My boss was Sunji Yusui, and Sis was the child of my boss and Sis. <sighs> What's left is, is the why of me being here. Of course, the same goes for you. Wow. Okay. So, um, oh yeah, we're going here. I'll lock the door with the golden key. <sighs> What's in here? A steel helmet. A steel helmet. Well, fuck you guys too. The steel helmet has been smashed apart. Well, that's fucked up. It ain't get me this time. Save another slot. What's up here? The room is dark, and the weak lantern doesn't seem to be able to light the room adequately. Oh, crap. We can't go in there. Uh, let's do here. The stone statue quietly looms. Okay. Uh, oh, no, not books. Not the giant books. There's an unnatural gap in the books of the middle show. Uh, I don't have anything, so no. Oh, God. The hell? Respect your predecessors. Uh. The hell? What am I supposed to do? Keep going straight or something? Whoa. What am I supposed to do? Uh. Uh, well, blood, uh, the hell, can I go up here? It wasn't here either. Oh, hell no, I'm going back. Fuck that. Fuck, whoa. What is this? What is this? This barrel with an odd, this barrel with an odd air about it has a book with a blue cover inside. We sure found value in the book and timidly took it. We got a blue book. Okay, let's go. I'm out of here. Okay. Oh, I get it. We put the blue book back in here. Okay. We sure what I gonna get? Oh shit! <sighs> Fucking bitch. <sighs> Piece of shit. Is it gone? Okay. And the bookcase is filled with books of every shell. God freaking... Uh. Can I say... Okay. Before something happens. <sighs> Fucking shit. Let's through here. What is this? Oh, hello. Ah, oh, you tricked me! Iron bars just jut out of the ground. It seems impossible to climb over them. Ah, oh, no! Ah, uh, oh. It's a lever. Hmm. Ah, uh, smell a trap! Yeah, that's a trap. There's a lever on the wall. There's sound nearby. Oh! Ah! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Not going to get me. Let's see. What's through here? Is there another one? Okay. What's in here? Is there anything on here? What's this? It's a notebook? An old book rests on top of the desk. With a quick read of the book, it turns out to be a manual on using lamps. We got a manual. 
Be sure to learn how to adjust the wick of her lantern, and it can adjust its intensity with something that makes fire. Hmm. Adjusting the lantern can be done from the menu. Oh, okay. Uh... Whoops. And no! What are you, fucking crazy? A small snipe, the sharp blade shines. Ah, uh... Shines uh, some hard things with it. The book on proper lantern repair on light adjustment. Flame source, the flame weakly flickers. A source of fire is needed to adjust the intensity. Oh, okay. Uh, what can we use? What's through here? Uh, here lies Bashir Yusui. Bashir Yusui has died. Bashir Yusui, dead. Bashir Yusui's eyes will never open again. Bashir Yusui speaks no more. Man, what y'all trying to tell me? Alright, I don't think there's anything else we could do here, so let's leave. Uh... I think there's anything left to do here. Uh, save and what's down here? Oh shit. The music stopped. Oh, we're gonna have to sneak through here? I'm not ready, man. Hold on. <sighs> Alright. Let's do this! I can barely see this bitch. Where did she go? I don't, I don't know the pattern though. It was obvious we can't step on that. Or else it's gonna cause some noise. Hold up, start over. I don't even know where that bitch went. Hold on. Okay, so every time you leave, it starts over. The pattern starts over. What's this? I don't know the pattern, so I'm being extremely cautious here. I'm being a pussy right now. Oh, oh. You know where she where where she is or is she he it I don't know I'm I'm taking it's a she from the last time I saw it. What? See, I don't know. I don't want to make a good mistake, so I'm being extremely cautious right now. Sorry if it's just extremely boring. Okay. Oh, teddy bear. Is this the mother? What? Uh... This? Wow, that was an educated guess. Okay, let's go. Oh, dark, 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 dark. Can't see, can't see, can't see. This is not good. Full of junk covered in dust. I lost the dust covered junk. There's a book of map. Oh, hello. Look at the matchbox. Careful not to collapse the pile of junk. Okay, we got some matches. Okay, that's cool. There's nothing on this place. Show. Is there nothing here? Oh my god, it's so dark. The fuck? I'm just in the lit fireplace. Uh, if there's nothing here, then... Okay, let's go. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm guessing she's gone. She's gone. Okay. Uh. 
Let me hurry up and save before something else happens. Okay, so now we can go in here. Um, still plenty in here. The lantern's light can be adjusted. Let's straighten it. Hello. The strong light lit up a wide area. West shall always be a reflection of the east. Huh? What do you mean by that? Oh no! Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, freaking K. This is, the, this is the witch's house. Really? Okay, so, what's this again? West shall always be a reflection of the east. So, one needs to be the opposite of the other? Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, it looks like a closet? I don't want to open it. I don't want to die. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Alright, let's figure this out. That stool is down. This stool is up. Down, up. Okay. Let's... Whoa. What? Oh, okay, we can't move anything in here. Okay. So both have to be up. Okay. Flip. Uh... Sword. Okay. Flip the sword. The sword. What's, what else is there? You do anything with the statue? No. Uh, so... What? Oh! We can switch it. Okay. Switch, uh... Angel-like statue... A closet. Drawers. Table and vase. What else is there? Drawers. No. A bed. It can't be moved. Huh? Can this move? A bed. Oh, psh. Uh, but what else is there? I don't know what else is there. I don't... Huh? Is this, this is a sword match? A western sword. What the freak? These stools are a flip button stool. Wait a minute, did I have to match? Oh shit, we have to match them. Duh, fucking idiot. There we go. Okay. Some things cannot be seen when there is light. Okay, so uh, that's straight out of something. Uh, just weaken it. What? In darkness, stab the sword into the unseen corpse. This? Oh god. So we have to go get the swords. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, we got a sword. Okay, that lock that locks the door because it's not matching. So we can get the other sword. Okay, let's take it. Okay, we got two wooden swords. Good. Okay, that unlocks this. Go through the door. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to stab the sword in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, two wooden swords. A double-edged sword like a knight will carry. Plus the instant sword into the floor. Might as well. Oh my! We sure heard of something moving nearby. The sword is stuck in blood stain. Uh, let me just enter. Straighten it. Oh my god! Some things you're happy you're not seeing. Oh my god! Okay, I don't know what just happened, so we're gonna save real quick.
Oh, this is just... Oh. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait. The fireplace floor is gone, revealing a ladder down. Let's go. Oh! Oh, we get another mirror! Okay, let's go. The mirror shows Monsieur's reflection. Alright, let's see. This might be the last one. One day ago, I wrote... Uh-oh. So, oh, so this is recent. We get to finally see what happened. <laughs> I like how he's just standing for a minute like, action, start walking. <laughs> you really don't have to see me off. It can hurt to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here either. Hmm. Then again, since you're black all over, maybe strangers won't even notice you, Mishiro. Hmm. Why are you so nice? Eh? I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no further need to care about me, is there? Hmm? I mean, I certainly wasn't de deepening our friendship solely to get you to model for me. Then what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Ayato. Hold on. What's this all about? I don't want anything in particular out of you. Sorry. That can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate motives or pros or cons when I'm making friends with people. Do you, Mishiro? Didn't I tell you? To me, interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers. I did hear you were in a bit of a situation. Then have you already forgotten what it means for people to interact without a reason? My mom does it to preserve her family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. You're overthinking, Mishiro. I don't need to meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess, strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's all. Hmm. I heard your mom has been disciplining you harshly ever since a few years ago. And that your high school is a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situation, there's no inherent meaning in people mis mingling. I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister. But keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. It's how things are. So loosen up, okay? <sighs> Besides, you like having someone to talk to, right? I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think that, think that about me. I, I didn't mean to say... <laughs> I'm only kidding. Really, though. Enough of all this over... Only, blah. Enough of all the overly logical thinking. Or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Um... Hmm? Thank... <gasps> Mr. Hero, watch out! What? What the fuck? How, how did that happen? I, I, I'm sorry, but what? How? You push her into the street. It, it, where another car could have possibly came. And a uh, uh, uh-huh. The, 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 uh, I'm not getting that how the car just like was driving on the sidewalk in the first place. And not hit that pole. <laughs> Stop it! That's enough! Whoa. Struck a nerve. <sighs> Just stop it. I ought to protect her from the reckless driver I headed toward her and becoming a bloody lump of meat. Monsieur Yusui's heart dying in that instant. Adding her loss of hope from losing Ayato carrying her to mirror light in which she threw herself in despair. All these things, Mishira remembered. <sighs> Shit. As this Mishira regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if it was something important. Wow. That's some deep shit. Well, all right. We're going to conclude things here, ladies and gentlemen. We have hit the climax of the story. So, tune in next time. We'll maybe the final episode of Blank Dreams. Maybe. Could be. I don't know. We'll see. So, I'll see you guys then.